For the Circuit Python Parsec today, I want to talk about returning multiple values from a function. So what you can see here in my code is that I am importing from the random library randint, that gives me random integers, time, so I can do a little sleep, Adafruit macro pad, which takes care of a whole bunch of stuff with the display, uh, and then I'm creating the macro pad object. Now I've created this little function that's called get random xy. This function right here uh, you feed it a minimum and a maximum for x positions and a minimum and maximum for y positions. It returns the x and y location using a random inside of those constraints. That fact that it can return both of those values is the cool part here because I can use just one function and a lot of different parts of my code can keep calling back to it to grab these two x, y random values. Then inside of the main loop of the program, you can see I'm casting a variable called x and a variable called y to the return that we get from that function. So get random x, y, and then I'm saying I want to go a minimum of 16, which is a little offset from the left, and a maximum of 112, a little offset from the right, and same for, uh, for the y-axis, 16 and 48. Uh, then I'm printing that to my little serial display. Go ahead and see that happening right there. So those values, x and y, are what get returned from my function. And then I'm just using this macropad.display image, a little BMP file, and then its position is that random x and that random y position inside of some constraints that my function returned. And then we do a little sleep. And the result is, you can see I've got this little blip, this little uh, sort of space invaders alien jumping around the screen there inside of my constraints. And so that is how you can return a couple of values from a function inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.